Hi, my name's Gavin Bottrell. My website's hickorygolf.co.uk. I'm here at uh, Stonely Deer Park Golf Club near Coventry today. It's the 24th of November. I'm here to hit some nickel, George Nickel irons. I'm making up a set and um, I've also got some woods, so I'm going to uh, try them out and um, see how they go and uh, make sure the shafts are good. Um, anyway, here we go. Going to start with this mashy niblick first of all. Wasn't very good. I'll try that again. Put that very, very heavy. It was a much better shot. Probably about 115 out of that, I think. 110 maybe. Again, about 110. Oh, it was a good strike, but lost my balance. Probably the best one yet. Maybe one fifteen. That's probably the longest. It's hard to judge exactly, but I'd say probably again between one fifteen, one twenty. Uh, the best so far. Now that I've warmed up a little bit, it's getting a little bit better. Right, I'm going to have a go with probably the mashy now. Yeah, I've got a Zenith deep face mashy. That wasn't too good. Maybe a hundred yards. The vagarities of Hickory Golf. Very thick, not good. Just when I thought I'd warmed up. Very nice shot. Probably 120, 125 maybe. Yep. That's all alright. Take a few of my irons now. I've got a, a driving iron. Next. Uh, no, this is the three iron, sorry. Picked up two together. And that was a very nice shot. Probably about 150. It was a lovely strike. Nearly lost my balance a bit. As good as the last one. Nothing wrong with that one. That was the three iron. Now I'm going to go for the driving iron. Very low flight. That's got even on our practice ground, which is uh, quite long. It's got a good bit of run on that one. Let's see what else we've got here. Two iron. that. That's a pretty good shot. 
big headed nimblick. Yeah, maybe 75. Nothing wrong with that. So that's all the George Nickel irons. So I'll um, have a break now and then I'll hit some woods. This is a matching pair that are Joe Quirk wood model and uh, there's a driver and a spoon. Um, they've got some 1970s whipping around the hosel here. I sell a lot of clubs to uh, hickory golfers across the world and um, I like to go and at least hit the clubs before I sell them. If a club's going to break, it'll break with usually the first couple of hits. So these clubs haven't been restored, but if they are work out pretty good, then I'll, um, I'll give them the restoration treatment. So I think this must be the spoon. No, driver. Okay, quite a bit of loft on it. Mm, that was really quite good. Um, maybe getting up to 200, 190 maybe. I won't flatter myself by saying it's any further. My normal drive with modern clubs is well, 225. Uh, this year I've had my best golfing year ever. I've uh, managed to get to 8.3 handicap, which I'm very proud of, just to give you an idea of what sort of level of golfer I am. the driver. It's always tempting when you hit a hickory club and you think oh, that's going really well and you, uh, you think maybe I should put that in my play bag and um, occasionally I do. That's the beauty of having quite a lot to choose from. So this is a spoon which is really quite short. Good for me. <laughs> a little bit hooky, but it was all right. So those two worked really well. Let's see what else we've got here. We've probably got about 10 woods in all. This is uh, a Tom Fernie special that's had a good amount of high gloss varnish added to it at some time over the last few decades and again some 1970s whipping so Scare neck. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. You can see the scare join here. Big long whipping. Splice, spliced together. Very whippy. Don't know if this is going to stand up to things. We'll see. Okay. A bit hooky. 
It's probably because it's got a good bit of whip in it. Got another scare neck here. JS Caird, who I think was the pro up at Newcastle. Let's see that. such a ridiculously small head which is only a little bit bigger than an actual ball compared to modern clubs that went really really well fascinating got a few more here a big chunky head so I'd say late 1920s driver in as found condition lots of little paint spots but there doesn't seem to be any cracks and the shaft seems to be okay We'll give that a go. That was a fair strike, but a bit of a slice. And that was a really nice shot. One of the best today. Funny, isn't it? That's Hickory Golf for you. This looks to me something about 1910, so a little bit smaller square head and uh, it's a brassy. Feels to have a good stiff shift shaft in it which is uh, always good rather than something that's too whippy. No grip on it at the minute. Put a little bit of moisture. Excuse me. He's driver. Quite a nice deep face on this one. An aluminium sole plate. Stripe top. Thin hard leather grip. Feels a good shaft on it. <laughs> uh, scuff the ground. Boone, uh, Eudes of Hoylake, Jack Eudes, again in as found condition, big squares, diamonds carved into the face, and this is actually paint, it's not whipping at all. Oh well, feels a good shaft on that though. That was a really good shot. <laughs> One of the best today. So I'll take them back to the workshop and uh, refinish them as necessary. And if you have any questions or comments, please either add them onto the comments box below or uh, send me an email at timewalkgolf, info at timewalkgolf. And thanks for watching. Bye.